Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. El Hello, hello Roberto. Hello teacher, how are you? I'm fine, ready to start the week. How about you? I am I am ready for the class teacher because um, today I I can stay in the class. Mm. That's Great news. Yes, <laughs> Yeah. That's great. How many modules have you been studying in this program, Roberto? I think some is around one year. Really? Yeah, because I start the course in... November 2022. In this program with Institute. Yeah. Mm, okay. But I remember I mm. I started the the course in E4CC. Ah, okay. Okay. That's a long time already. Yeah, um, around one year in, in two course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you know a little bit of English when you started or nothing? Did you start from zero? Uh, I start of zero, but I I think I learned a lot in in both program because mm -hmm. because the, the class um are very very interesting uh -huh. and and i i learned a lot in in support in e4cc okay great yeah the good thing what i see for example in this group there are only 14 people and well because of the responsibilities everybody has uh, sometimes we have like half of you who are participating so i mean that's good in the sense that you can participate more and the more you participate uh the more you learn better <laughs> right yeah mm -hmm. i agree because i think when we are participating in the class it's normally we we had a, a mistake but this mm -hmm. is this is important because we we can learn about the mistake. Exactly, that's right. Okay, well, we have some more people here. We have Andres. Hello, Andres. How was your weekend? Did everything Hello, go teacher. well with your relative? Yes, teacher. He has a big problem on Friday, on the last Friday. I remember. But, uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that's a big problem. But he's he's okay. My my my, I don't know how do you say cuñado. Brother in law. Brother in law. For, for brother in law. So mm -hmm. he's okay right now. He, is but he, he and then, have to go to the hospital? Yeah, the the accident was in, near to the general hospital of the east. Oh, is from okay. the in front of the new hospital of emergency medics, emergencia medica. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, teacher, but that is okay, teacher. Okay. He's okay right now. Good, good. Well, welcome back. I see we have uh, Mauricio. Hello, Mauricio. Hello, Wait. teacher. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Gilberto. 
Hello, teacher. Hello. 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 I find Hello. it. <laughs> I don't see you today, Gilberto. <laughs> you always have your camera on. What happened today? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There you are. How are you? Yes, teacher. Nice. Thank you for asking. Okay. Good. Gabriela, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. <laughs> Rodrigo, hello. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Danny is here, but I don't think he's listening. Oh, a lady is coming in. Hello, lady. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, great. Well, everybody, um, this is our session number 21. We're almost done. Um, and well, I hope your energy for today, Monday, is up. I know we don't have the, the best schedule for energy, <laughs> but uh, well, I hope you get a good rest over the weekend and that we that you had a good Monday at your job. Some of you are going on vacation soon, so I think that is um good news, right? <laughs> Who has vacation soon? Who is taking vacation soon? Raise your hand. Who is taking vacation soon? No one? No one is taking vacation? Oh, Roberto, okay. Only Roberto. <laughs> Nobody else is taking vacation soon? Okay, well, but at least you get to rest a little bit, I think, over the holidays. Okay, well, um, Israel, we have you and also Julio. Welcome, both. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, well, um, I was just waiting for Julio and Israel so I could check attendance, see. <laughs> Okay, let's check attendance. Let's see. Here we are. Okay, just give me a few seconds. Okay, just give me a few seconds. Okay, I'm so sorry. I had to check something. Okay, let's check attendance. Danny, Anthony, Siwensa Ventura. Uh, let me see. Yes, he's here as a listener. Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Andres Martinez Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Is Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez? Present teacher. Eh, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Um, let me see. Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. 
Eh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present your check. María Leticia Ralejeño González. Is Leticia here? Mm, no, not right now. Mauricio de Jesús, Puruca Velázquez. Uh, present teacher. Uh, Rebeca María Cardona. I don't see Rebeca right now. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Eh, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. He's a listener, I think. Let me check. Yes. Uh, Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez is also a listener. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Present teacher. Okay. Ah, I see you're here, Rebecca. I didn't see your name in the list. I was looking for you. I don't know why I don't see your name. Ah, yeah, now I do. Okay, good. Well, let's now start working on our lesson for today. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, today we're starting a unit four. This is our last unit for the module. And, a, well, this unit is focused on loyalty. Loyalty. Um, last week, we were checking some, uh, some concepts related to, to branding, right? To the elements. And there was this one, brand loyalty. So first of all, uh, we're going to check some ideas. Well, um, the objective in this unit is to describe different stages of a product's brand awareness. This is another a term that we discussed last week, right? Like one of the elements, brand awareness. Uh, and uh, we're going to start by checking these questions we see in the, here in the screen. Okay, let's start. Well, but in this case, let, let me just read the questions and then uh, I would like you to discuss the questions. We're going to take some time, uh, go mm -hmm. to the breakout rooms and discuss the questions with a partner, okay? So um, I will be entering the room just to check how you are discussing, but let's do it more like as a conversation. Okay, so the questions are, should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness? Okay, now if you don't remember what brand awareness is, let me, okay, let's go back a little bit on page here, page 30, 29, right? What is brand awareness? Um, okay, we were, we did this exercise. Let me, Okay, we did this exercise and here we have the definitions, right? Uh, let's see. The customers, no, extent to which consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. That is brand awareness, right? How familiar, how, Mm, none, let's say, uh, your brand is, right? How much familiar it is. So, okay. So let's start with this little discussion, okay? Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness? Okay, so uh, we're going to make some rooms in order to have a more 
uh, let's say more personal discussion, right? More direct discussion with your classmates. Just give me a second here and we'll set up the rooms. Okay, um, I guess Okay, so I'll see you in your rooms. Right now we're going to discuss the two questions, okay? una pregunta, pero ah, no, eh, están en el manual, ¿verdad? Sí, lo que yo no le tomé screenshot. Okay. Do you need the questions? Yes, please, teacher. <laughs> ok, give me a, one second. One second. Okay, I will share it in the group, the WhatsApp group, so everybody has access to it. Okay. Okay. Sure, okay. it's not business. Invest or rising, raising. Vamos a contestar a las preguntas. Miss, yo le estaba haciendo así porque estaba sola. I know, I know. <ríe> es que Julio no quería trabajar con usted. Dijo, ay, no. Bueno, levanté un momento. Tengo que convencerlo, con Miss. No, dijo. <ríe> Miss tuvo que convencerlo, por eso se conectaron al mismo That's tiempo. Right. <ríe> exactly. <ríe> Okay, but there you you have a partner now. Um, I posted the questions in the WhatsApp group, just in case mm -hmm. you don't have your manual ready. Okay, okay, so let's discuss the two questions, please. Two questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Invest on raising brand awareness. And can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product brand awareness? Awareness. Those are the questions we are going to talk about. Eh, primero vamos a eh, tratar de contestar el, 
your question. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Should a small business invest or raising brand awareness? Uh -huh. This is a yes no question, Gilberto. What do you think? Yes or no? Should let me check the question again. Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? Uh, I think yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. I think yes. Why 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 should they do that? And here and the, and can you pay yes, because uh -huh. Adelante. Uh, because uh, the strategy product uh, the, pays the products and the custom and the stay market. Uh, Okay. Um, fair, fair action de strategy. Okay, they need to create the strategies. I, I am understanding. Mm -hmm. Oops, what happened? What happened to Mr. Gilberto? Gilberto said that he had a problem with the internet. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see. Hola, hola. Hola. Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. Hello. I have a problem with the internet. Okay. Hola, hola. We hear you. We hear you, but I don't know if you hear us. No nos escucha. Entrecortada la conversación. Ah, ok. Ok. Eh, do you have any other network or? Eh. I... One moment. Ok, ok. Okay, I'm going to go check our other other groups and I'll be back. Okay, teacher, don't worry. Perdón. Ah, sí. Brand awareness, perceived quality, brand associations, brand loyalty, and proprietary assets. Hello, how are you doing? Have you finished? Doing fine. <laughs> doing fine. <laughs> Have you finished or not yet? Oh. Not yet, teacher. We are talking yes. about the second question. Ah, okay. Okay. I think so. The, the strategies there are in page 29. Yes, exactly. That vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Brand awareness, perceived quality, brand association. Brand yes. Identity. In this case, we're focusing on on only one brand awareness. Basically, we're talking about how familiar customers are with your brand. How many people know your brand? That is brand awareness. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, uh, we're gonna take two more minutes to finish uh, the discussion. So I'll see you later in the main room. Okay, teacher. al centro no 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 Take note about the day, the personal, the lot of personal. Personal information. Uh -huh. About our product in the different malls. And take note for the customers. For the personal information, Uy. <laughs> information Hello, hello, welcome back. Okay, well, uh, because this was a, a, only two questions to discuss, uh, I'm going to, well, for the first question, I'm going to take volunteers or maybe, well, let's just do this. Raise your hand, okay? because this is a yes, no question. So let me share here the screen, one second. Yeah. 
Okay, so uh, raise your hand if you think that a small business should invest on raising brand awareness. Okay, let me see. Lady, Rodrigo, Roberto. Okay. Okay, three, three of you. What about the other groups? Should a small business invest in raising brand awareness? Okay, only three people think yes. Well, uh, and now the second question. For the second question, I would like, okay, you can lower your hand now. Now for the second question, uh, I would like, Rodrigo's group to share their uh, strategies. Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness? So how can we make uh, our brand become more familiar to our customers? The first one is to is to make uh invest or maybe you can make a campaign on a uh, social media. In this case, if you are short in money or maybe you can uh, you are thinking mm, I don't want to to uh, let me see I don't want to. I don't want to uh, invest uh, much more money. You can try some uh, package of, for example, in Facebook, uh, some, pa uh, some package of publicity costs $1, $3, $5, and continue, depending of the quantity, quantity of days that you want that your brand uh, must see uh, or have a... I don't know, uh, let me see, alcance, a scope, or, or, yeah, reach, sorry? reach, a reach, reach to, mm -hmm. many, to much more people than your contacts. In, okay. in, in digital marketing, this is an inorganic strategy because your organic strategy, strategy is when you in, uh, invest with your own contacts. But in this case, if you want to, to 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 reach uh, much more people you need you need to do an inorganic uh, invest oh interesting interesting yes. very mm -hmm. good very good i didn't know that difference between organic and inorganic ah in because i have a, a, a training in marketing digital in digital marketing and social media that's why well, I know. You're going to teach to teach us about digital marketing. <laughs> okay. Well, I I started taking a course, but I didn't finish it, so I I didn't learn those those concepts. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rodrigo. Uh, I think Andres was raising his hand, so I don't know if he wanted to share his strategies. Andres, do you want to share your strategies? Yes, teacher. Well, well one strategy. Uh -huh. In my case, teacher, I can I can say that, for example, one strategy is to hire people for they can, um, well, hire people and give them some flyers or they can go from the different malls or uh -huh. places um, for they can take note for the personal information of the customers and then they can give the information from one call center or from, from the, the owner, for example. Uh -huh. And they, then the owner, they have the owner have personal for they can make calls from the people uh, for example, some people that can be interested in the in the product. 
Ah, okay. For example, bring some information with some flyers, and then if someone wants one more one more information about the product, the the seller can take note from the personal information of these people, of the person, and mm -hmm. then another department can call them. Ah, okay, great. For me, teacher, I can I, I can put the name, but I don't know. <laughs> that is the meaning, okay? The field work. It's like field a work. Yes. example. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Field work, yes. I I see, I, I, if you, everybody, if you paid attention to Rodrigo's strategy and now Andres' strategy, uh, well, Rodrigo's group and Andres, group because they work with other partners. Um, if you can see the contrast, right? Because Rodrigo was speaking about, was talking about social media, right? Everything digital. And uh, Andres was describing a strategy that is like, you know, face-to-face, uh, -face, right? As he said, field work, because you are like, um, Pro even meeting your future customers, right? Um, I guess something that I was, I can comment on Andres' strategy is that, uh, for example, when he was talking about, uh, like, if you can have someone call customers or customers can call this person so they can get more information, Usually when you have a, when you're starting a business, you are the only one, right? So you are the, um, well, the, the, the public relations manager, the CEO, the COO, <laughs> everything, you're everything. So usually it's you, the owner, who is also in contact with uh, new customers. If they want more information. Okay. Um, so let's see. We have two groups. Is there any other group who is who wants to volunteer to share their strategies before we move on? As you see today, well, I'm taking volunteers. Lady, okay. Go ahead. Teacher. Uh... Yes. Uh, yes. Our group. Uh huh. Este, can you name a pair? We can make a strategic alliances with another companies. For example, oh, mm -hmm. if if we sell bread, we can have list of coffee. Or if we sell pizza, we can add Coca Cola. Excellent. Okay, that's a a. Uh, uh a different strategy from the two that we already heard. Make mm -hmm. alliances with, with other, other companies. Great. Associated products, right? Products mm -hmm. that go with, with, um, with what they are mm -hmm. selling. Okay, great. Let me see. What am I getting here? Oh, I thought... Okay, very good. Uh, well, we're just missing Israel and, and Mr. Gilberto. I don't know if you wanted to share too, if you have something. I know Mr. Gilberto had issues with internet, but I don't know if you could put together something. Uh, teacher, in my case, the tragedy, the brand awareness, uh -huh. uh, I seen very important case face in my case, uh, my client, uh, I know me, my product in quality and price. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, uh, the company, the uh, strategy is uh, testing the product. Okay. For, for for quality, for price. Okay, so uh, in this case, 
Gilberto, I would say that the strategy is to have a balance between quality and price, right? Yes. To have a balance between quality and price. Okay. Good. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for sharing. Um, well, here, I, I want you to see this, that we are not just practicing our English, but we are also learning about marketing, right? So maybe some things we didn't know, we are sharing from, I mean, our classmates are sharing. Uh, and I really liked that each of the groups had a different strategy. So we could learn from, from each other in this case. Um, very good. Okay, now um, we're going to watch a video, okay, about brand awareness. Since we have been talking about brand awareness, um, let me see. Wait, 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 I need to stop sharing. And here. It's very short, it's not, it's not even three minutes, I think. Social media. There's a okay. Social media. This is I, I I'm going to give you a spoiler. This is a uh, related to what Rodrigo was sharing, okay? See? Social media. Okay? So let's let's watch the video and let's see how in this case social media is uh, integrated into social awareness or how we can um, how we can promote brand awareness through social media okay how can we promote brand awareness through social media okay so that's the question that i'm going to ask you at the end okay so let's watch yeah there's absolutely no way you haven't heard of it yet over the last few years social media has completely changed the internet actually it has changed the whole world and also the world of marketing so what are the reasons for your business to start utilizing these new forms of communication as soon as possible? These are the seven most important ones. Number one, showcase your brand. Social media offers another marketing channel for creating brand awareness, relationship building, or driving new sales. So why not use it, especially when it's free, right? Number two, develop a loyal community. People enjoy being part of a business that is proactively building a lively community. Such an online community can help you establish an emotional connection between your company and your prospects, which is essential for your long-term success. Number three, improve customer service. Social media is a great feedback source. Enabling your prospects to communicate with your company and each other can greatly improve your customer service and increase brand trustworthiness. Number four, increase digital exposure. Interacting in social networks can significantly increase your online presence. Social media leads to massive exposure due to its worldwide access, sharing capabilities, and huge amount of daily users. Number five, boost traffic in search engine rating. Social media is a major lead generator, and it constantly brings high volume traffic to your website. They can also help with SEO, since search engines significantly reflect your social media content. Number six, expand sales and reach a new audience. Listening to your prospects on social networks can help you respond to their specific needs. This will most likely cause an increase in sales, but also expand your customer base. Number seven, cut marketing costs. Compared to traditional channels like print or advertising, social media marketing is affordable for any business. Remember that the channel itself is free. Managing social media, taking care of all the content, tweets, or feedback can get pretty time consuming you need to focus primarily on your business. So how about leaving the social stuff to us? No worries, we have plenty of experience to take complete responsibility of your social presence. So get in touch with us, we're ready to start today. Okay, you didn't know, but that was a commercial. <laughs> okay, a commercial, um, 
customized as a as an informative video. But that's how social media works these days, right? Okay, well, let's see. They were mentioning seven ways in which social media promotes brand awareness, right? Um, so I'm going to ask again for volunteers to share some of those things. And most importantly, which one uh, you consider like maybe the most useful, um, probably in your experience or just in general. Okay, Roberto, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Um, I understand about the video is talking about the, the internet chain, the business. Um, and mention it uh, about seven strategies. And um, I remember someone is an improved customer service and other is in good marketing cost. Um, the last one is very important because when the companies reduce the cost, um, the the company the company get the goals in in the in the sales of, of the products. I think this is uh, about the video. Excellent. Yes, definitely cutting marketing cost. And as Rodrigo was explaining at the beginning, uh, for his example, right that yes, you invest on, let's say like the sponsoring uh, on social media uh, in order to reach more people, right? But usually those prices uh, are very inexpensive, we can say, compared to, for example, if you hire a marketing, a team, right? That would be more expensive. And remember that here we're talking about the small businesses, right? Not big companies, but the small businesses. So, okay, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. What else? Uh, let's see. Roberto mentioned cutting marketing costs and a um, Customer service, right? Improve customer service. Um, okay, Andres, go ahead. What else? In my case, teacher, I can understand in the video, like Robert says, that is like a, two, like a, two parts. One is free, that is uh, social media, and the other, than this is a group of marketing that is expensive. There are um, three, of, I'm sorry, five, seven strategies for they can um, like uh, increase um, the, the sales or the customers. Mm -hmm. I can grab some one of them. Mm -hmm. show, show cares what? Improve customer service, increase digital, increase digital, um, bulk traffic, Expand okay. salt, good marketing cost. That is the last. Exactly. And in my opinion, in my opinion, teacher, um, well, the in the last part of the video, um, they say that of course we know that the social media there is free and you don't have or anyone have any cost or they can promote mm -hmm. the product in those in this part, but. The well, in our case, we have to understand that we are going to spend a lot of time doing this job because the social media needs a lot of time of us if we want to promote or product or brand in this area. That is free, but we need time. Exactly. Okay, great. This is an interesting um, argument, I would say, because um, definitely if you, for example, think of you, think of yourself as a, as a customer, right? Uh, we may see, for example, lots of Facebook pages selling stuff like whatever, right? Clothes, shoes, uh, furniture, etc. cetera, whatever. Um, 
you need, you may find it in, in, in the marketplace, for example, or a Facebook a page, right? For a store. Uh, but sometimes I have experienced that sometimes uh, I say, okay, what's the price? Or uh, for example, if it's clothes, uh, do you have this style in, I don't know, X, um, what size? Okay, so you are asking questions about the product you want to buy. And sometimes nobody replies, right? Nobody replies your inbox or, or, or the comments you make. So what Andres is saying is true, right? You need time in order to keep up with all the questions you're getting from customers in social media. Uh, and that's when there is a, a new job with social media. Who knows with what this job is about? Uh -huh. Someone who is in charge, for example, imagine you have a clothes, a clothing store and you have your 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 Facebook page, your Instagram page, and sometimes even TikTok based on your product. So if you don't have time, you need to find someone who can do all that for you. Okay, and that is a new job that we have with social media. Who, who knows what the name is? Nobody remembers. <laughs> well, it's actually, well, you can call it a social media manager, manager or community manager. Um, let's see what's another one. Well, something like that, right? Social media manager or community manager. Uh, but basically it's about that, right? Like someone who is taking care of all the digital uh, business, right? People are- He's the community uh, manager. Uh-huh. Yes, community manager, right? No, the, 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 the responsibility of the, uh, the community manager. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's a new job, right? It is someone who who is going to be in charge of only that, right? Making sure all the information is updated, um, the pictures, videos, the interaction with the customers, as I said, because sometimes nobody is responding to that, right? So, okay. Well, um, I don't know if some of you may have a, or are thinking about, or you are doing it already, a, this kind of, um, like you are starting your own business and a, you need to do that, right? Brand awareness. So social media can be your, your ally, your friend, right? But there are some things we need to consider. Okay. Well, so this is something related to um, awareness and how social media can help. I'm going to share the link to the video. Give me one second here. Okay, let me, I'm going to share it in the WhatsApp chat. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that we have watched the video and discussed about it, we're going to go back to the, the exercise here in our textbook, in our manual. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, uh, we have this conversation, so we're going to read it and practice it, okay? Um, so let me see, I'm going to choose some of you who have not participated today. Let me see. I see Julio, for example. Julio and Gabriela. Okay, we have Lucas and Celia. So Celia could be Gabriela and Lucas and Julio. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Um, well, um, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw say I'm say they only have three hundred likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. Mm -hmm. It is, it's a uh, probably an um, unknown brand, uh, simply, sim simply, simply uh, thought the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Uh, well, yes, uh, consumers are aware of these brands and their image, images and names in order words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about need to make people recognize is to get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay, thank you. Very good. Let's see, um, okay, let's practice some words that we uh, need to pronounce. For example, the last, sorry, the past of C in the first part, I saw, I oh. saw. Mm -hmm. I saw they only have 300 likes. Okay. okay. Uh, next, uh, this the, the phrase that you see in bold, simply put. Simply put. Simply put. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, let's see. Okay. Um, awareness. 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 Okay. okay. Aware, where? Awareness. The, awareness. In the second syllable. Mm -hmm. Awareness. Awareness. Yeah. Awareness. Exactly. Okay. Uh, next is images. The last part in Lucas' part. Images. Images. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is the, the ingredient. Cinnamon. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. okay that's it when i when i saw this conversation i thought uh i thought about uh, gilberto <laughs> because he he works with spice <laughs> what do you think about about okay, this, this what do you think about this flavor uh, gilberto cinnamon soda uh, do you think it would be delicious, cinnamon soda? Uh, and cinnamon, yeah, very nice. In the fragrance, the fragrance. The fragrance. It, 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 it. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, so you agree that we we should have cinnamon soda. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, let's see. I chose Julio and I chose Gabriela. Now I'm going to do this. Julio, I need you to help me choose somebody else. So give me a name of a, of a classmate, a gentleman. 
Gentle man, the class. Yes. Israel. Oh, okay. Now, Gabriela. Well, actually, for for ladies, there are only two of you today participating. So I'm sorry, but there is no other choice. <laughs> Let's say that Gabriela is going to choose lady. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Aunque> me <quisiera ayudar. laughs> no, no, there is no thing for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, are you uh let me check with Israel. Are you ready? Israel, hello. <laughs> I think he's not ready. <laughs> okay, let's choose somebody else, please, Julio. What? I... The options? We Roberto. have Roberto, we have Rodrigo, we Roberto. have... Roberto. Okay. <laughs> Roberto, okay. So, let's start, lady, please. Okay, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It is delicious, but when I visit their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it is, isn't more popular. Okay, Roberto, are you there? Yes, teacher. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, the owner of the brands aren't trying to hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi. But, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their image and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize is to get higher sales and become more com competitive. Okay, great, thank you. Well, again, I'm going to uh, just repeat some words that I think we need more practice with. And let's start with cinnamon, cinnamon. Cinnamon, mm -hmm. cinnamon. Then, cinnamon. Yes, then the word delicious, delicious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Okay, and here we have a non, a non brand. A um, non brand. Mm -hmm. Then this other phrase, this is a phrase, simply put. Simply put. Simply put. Simply put. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Mm, okay. Um, let's practice this one too. Launching. 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 Okay. And the last one will be higher. Higher sales. Higher. Mm -hmm. Higher. Okay. Higher. Okay. Great. Well, um, as you may see, this conversation is related to um what we were discussing with the role of social media, right? We watched in the video how important social media is these days, right? Um, and well, I don't know if it has happened to you, but it's true, this first part, when they talk about like, you go to someone's page and they only have a hundred likes or 50 likes, right? You may say, hmm, not, not many people know this brand. And 
um, I don't know if you remember uh, a few a few days ago, a few classes ago, we were talking about, I think it was in the same class about these elements uh, that there was this expression, word of mouth. Remember this expression, word of mouth? Which basically now with social media, what happens is that you check the reviews, right? For example, when you buy something in Amazon or when you buy something in Marketplace, you can see the rating of the seller. And also if, if it is a page, you can see the comments that people make and so on, right? So this is what works at word of mouth in in with social media right the recommendations that other cus customers uh, make for the product or also for the, for the seller right if they have good customer service and so on okay so this is what the conversation is about now i would like you to focus on these questions okay um we have, why is cinnamon soda not so popular? Number two, what is an important step to consider when launching a new product? And the last one, what is Lucas' recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales? Okay, uh, again, I'm going to have you work together to, to discuss the, the answers to these questions based on the conversation. And also I would like you to add a, a personal experience or a, a, an example, just like the ones I have mentioned with a, you know, the pages that people don't see, like people see that they are not so popular, etc. I would like you to, besides answering the question, uh, these questions from the exercise, I would like you to also share your experiences with a social media and brand awareness as a customer. And I don't know if you have your own business also as a business owner, okay? Both perspectives as a business owner and as a customer. I will write the instructions in the chat, okay? So you can see them in your, in your room, but first, we're gonna work on the exercise and then discuss your experience. So let me set up the rooms again. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if everybody, for example, Israel, I don't know if he's still active. Well, I'm gonna open the rooms as we were. I'm here, teacher. Ah, there you are. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can. You can share the, the conversation on the question on the group. Ah, yes, 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 Andres. Okay, I'll, I'll share it soon, okay?
Okay, it looks like Israel. Can you join, please, the room? Do you have the option to join? Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, can you join the room, please? Um, if you send me the um, the link, because uh, it it hasn't shown shows up. Okay. Let me see. Okay, I don't know why, but it it's like it lo it looks like you are already here, but I'm gonna move you to another room and then move you back. Let me see. Mm -hmm. or the product is is, is strong in in fra in, in, in your fragging mm -hmm. uh, and the other also you see uh, um, the um, popular the people for uh, for uh, soda no 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 como por decir no llama la atención verdad aunque un producto bien conocido de chiquito ¿verdad? yes according to the to the let me see the, ah According to the third paragraph, the third one, the this cola never shows up any advertisement on on TV. Es lo que Lucas recomend, recomend. <ríe> uh <-huh. ríe> recomienda a tipo gringo, recomend, <ríe> recomienda por the cinema, so the, for a war of the brand, their machine other words, the cinema, so you are talking about needs. Que es como hablar, people. ajá, sobre las necesidades para hacer, uh -huh. reconocer a las personas. So, talking about uh -huh. need to make people recognize recognize it to get higher salt and become more competitive. Ajá, como, sí, como reconocer la necesidad, como crear una necesidad, create a necessity in the mm -hmm. people. Crear, eso es como lo principal. ¿Por qué yo lo tengo que comprar? Así <ríe> mm -hmm. es. Porque si no hay una necesidad por el cual tengo que comprar el producto, nadie lo va a comprar. Entonces, en este caso sería, what is Lucas' recommendation for the cinnamon salt to get more salt? Sería para, um, Lucas recommend. To make people recognize it to get higher salt. Uh -huh. Reconocer las necesidades de las personas. Uh -huh. Eso, permito a la nota. Sí, it's to make people 
recognize. Is it? <clears throat> Hello, hello. Hello, hello teacher. teacher. Just checking. Can you see the message I posted in the chat? In the Zoom chat? No, no teacher. Because I, I, I mean, I gave you the instructions there. Number one, answer the questions from exercise three. The, I see you are almost finished. And then number two, Share personal experiences as a customer and as an owner in terms of social media and brand awareness, similar to the conversation in the module. Can you see that or not? Mm, no, teacher. In the chat. In the, in the Zoom chat? Mm -hmm. no. no. No, I can see this. No. Teacher, in this conversation, in the second part, just it's like a conversation, natural conversation. We have to create a conversation like the exercise. Aha, uh -huh. yes. But I mean, more than writing the conversation, I want you to just speak, okay? For example, uh, share, share experiences. Uh, I don't know. Imagine like, uh, for example, if you like if you like to buy things in marketplace for example i don't know or on instagram um like you were looking for a pair of shoes for example and you saw this page where they have many different uh, styles that you like and then you check how many people follow this instagram page and there were only I don't know, 25 people. So what that, what does that make you think? Mm, maybe these people are not real <laughs> sometimes. Yes. That is what we can think, right? Um, I mean, as a customer, you like analyze the social media pages of the stores, right? That is the perspective of the customer. But then there is also, you can also have the experience of, of a business owner. I don't know if you or Gabriela are business owners, like if, or if you have been business owners where you have your own page and how that, I mean, how is that like basically? How was that experience for you? So I want you to share if you have both perspectives, uh, just like some experiences, eh, it's okay. If you don't have experience as a business owner, it's okay, only as a customer. But yeah, similar. It's okay. Similar. Mm -hmm. okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Ah, sorry, I was muted. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So we're we're finished with this part. Why yes. is cinnamon soda not so popular? Because it is an unrecognized product. Okay. What is an important step to consider when launching a new product? Create brand awareness. Okay. Uh, what is Lucas' recommendation? Need to be recognized by the people to get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, in the last part, uh, I would just delete the word it because it is not necessary. The cinnamon soda needs to be recognized. Needs, needs yeah, yeah. to be recognized. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. yeah. ah, okay. 
Well, that is the first, remember that is the first part of the task. Um, I don't know if you can read this, like the, my instructions in the chat. Can you? Do you see them? The first part is read, uh, read the conversation. No, no, in the chat, I posted a, the two instructions, but I'm checking right now if you can see them. Si la ven las indicaciones del chat o no? Uh, one moment, please. ¿Cuál chat? ¿El de Zoom o el de WhatsApp? The Zoom. Ajá, the Zoom chat. No, teacher. No, no. No. Oh, okay. I well, I'm going to share them in the WhatsApp group then because I don't know. I thought you could see them. Yo sí lo veo. Por eso le estoy preguntando porque yo sí lo veo. Pero usted okay. no. Solo lo último fue algo que mandó Rebeca. Ah, uh, no. Okay. This is what I what I wrote. Number one, answer the questions from exercise three. Number okay. two. Share personal experiences as a customer and as an owner in terms of social media and brand awareness. And so in, in summary, similar to the conversation in the manual. Mm -hmm. So now comes the second part, now that you finish the first one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We're going to take about maybe five minutes for you to, to discuss. But remember, it's only speaking, okay? You don't need to write. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. aunque sea unos huevitos sí ajá lo teacher what is the what is the what is the chambre about the conversation club <laughs> uh, we are talking about the the different business with Chinese Chinese people in in in, in Duas. Ah, you have had experience with them? Mauricio, in the expert. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Do you have to deal with Chinese and in and, and, and Hindi? No, let me see. What's the India? Hindu. Indian. India. Indian. Indian. Ah, Indian person. Indian. Indian. Mm -hmm. Yes. Indian people. Indian people. Mm -hmm. Yes, we and have what is to, it like? What is it like? We have to make business with the people from China and, and India. Okay. We import, we import some materials from some companies. Uh, for example, uh, from China, we import uh, to tiles. Uh -huh. and, and roofing. Roofing. Yes. Roofing. Okay. Okay. Yes. Have you had yeah. any any cultural miscommunication with them? Like something that you didn't 
understand because of their culture? Yes, yes. Uh, I have to 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 learn too much English because we we talk uh, we talk much with them uh, in WhatsApp. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. from, from message. Yes. And, um, um uh but sometimes uh, we have to talk uh uh to make a call for talk with them aha uh -huh. okay yes mm -hmm. uh, is we were talking about that with robert uh, that we uh, I, I need to learn more english <laughs> because of that yes definitely yeah. and the in the well uh, especially these two two groups of of people they have a very strong accent right uh, yes and sometimes it's difficult to to understand even when you have the vocabulary and uh but it's difficult to understand because of their accent Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. By the act, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, this is interesting because now we are realizing that, well, you know, in the past, we used to think that we were learning English just to talk with people from the U.S. or people from the United Kingdom or Canada. But now we know with globalization, we know that we're speaking with speaking English with people from all over the world right and also people who are learning English as well they yes. it's not their native language mm -hmm. English is the global language <laughs> exactly yeah. okay well I'll let you keep sharing with your classmates um and I'm gonna go check what the other people are doing okay so keep okay. talking please keep practicing so you can talk to Chinese and Indian. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Great to hear. Hello. Hello. Okay. Have you finished the first part? The uh, yes. Okay. And how about your experiences with social media as customers or business owners? For example, uh -huh. Go ahead, Gilbert. In my in my case, teacher in social media, I use uh, WhatsApp is more important in my case. Okay. Mm -hmm. For easy picture the the product. Uh -huh. and, and, and communication communication the price is immediately immediately yes easily the conversation in whatsapp mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. okay great so it's more convenient for you to use whatsapp yes mm -hmm. uh, for the for uh, the distance the the my my customer the san salvador mm -hmm. uh, to a watch upon okay mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. the other cases san salvador santa ana or or son sonate mm -hmm. yes uh, okay. social media uh, easy and like in the business uh -huh. Yes, yeah, social media makes business easier, probably, right? Yes. Okay. 
Now, uh, Israel, what about you? What's your experience with social media? It's really it's good because you can show your products and like the advertisement ad, we hear at the advertise in the advertisement mm -hmm. that it normally it costs you nothing because you don't the only thing that you need is to maybe a, a editor no editor how do you say editor 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 mm -hmm. yes Mm -hmm. and a video editor yes and and that's all and then you can post everything you want and you can show to the your future client mm -hmm. what your product does or could does for them okay mm -hmm. well and as a customer israel what would you like okay um we were talking about some examples or even in the conversation you have an example about a, like okay let's say you want to buy a pair of shoes and you go to the social media page and you see that they only have 20 likes how does that impact or influence your decision as a customer to buy from those from from that store well to be honest with you uh, that doesn't make sense for me mm -hmm. in, in my personal uh, case i couldn't um uh, decide only because many people gives like to a fan page or a, or a, or, a, or an advertisement mm -hmm. of a product for example, if you really love the product and you really want to buy it, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter if, if the other people give them or not a, a like. Mm -hmm. To me, no, it, it's not important. It's about my my preference and what I really desire. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I guess that part of like how many likes and or how many people follow the page for example it has to do with like um how many people know especially in i mean of course there are brands that we already know right but for example imagine someone who is starting their their own business as uh i don't know let's say they make um hats you know, like mm -hmm. handcrafted hats. Um, there are many people these days that make things, you know, like with th their own hands, let's say, craft crafters, right? So if they are trying to um, promote their, their products, right? Their crafts, um, probably the more people who see their page, the better, right? Even if they don't buy, but they are going to see that they are going that they are known, right? That is the idea with awareness, um, okay. and also like if someone sees that there are, um, let's say that this page has five hundred five five thousand followers, let's say, uh, this means that probably. Some of these people have bought the the product and they can give you their opinion, for example, right? Uh, in some cases, buying online is kind of tricky, right? I don't know if you have had any experience of buying online and you didn't get what you needed or what you really wanted. Like something? Really, uh -huh. No, never, never, because I'm, I'm afraid to get a scam Mm. And and I don't I don't feel uh, it's not safe. I don't feel comfortable uh, mm. giving my personal data ah. on the internet because they normally ask you for your email, your phone number, and also your then uh, the number uh, their your credit card credit exactly. card number. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. And you don't know who is the person who is on, in the other line, in the other part of the line. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. 
What about you, Mr. Gilberto? Do you have do you buy online or are you also um let's say afraid or unenthusiastic about buying online? Teacher, I think buy online eh, eh, easy eh, show the product mm -hmm. for in my case my customer I need testing my product eh, direct okay no but no in your case as yes, a customer. In my case. Yes, in my case. Like when you customer. buy when you want to buy something, not not your product, the product you sell, but when you buy want to buy something else, like I don't know, a, a shirt, shoes, etc. Something for you, like as a customer. How do yes, you feel yes. about shopping online? Con my, my my customer, I share for WhatsApp the the picture of the product. Uh -huh. No, but you, you, the and customer. The other, and the other test, and the other stack, uh, uh, I going uh, testing the product face to face. Okay, face to face, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But that is about the product you sell, mister. But I, I was asking about, like, for example, Israel shared that he doesn't like buying online because he doesn't trust the online process right how about you like when you do you buy online do you shop online things for you no teacher i buy online no uh, in my case face to face face to face okay so you two are similar you are yes. similar because you don't like to buy online. Okay. <laughs> Good. Well, um, we're going me, we're coming back to the room. I'm just gonna check one more group uh, probably in like three minutes. Okay. If you have something else to share, some other experience as a customer or business owner, you can go ahead and, and share. Okay. So okay. I'll see you in the main room in a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> I <did you>. Hello. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> what is the cheese me about? <laughs> no, teacher, we talk about from the the two dogs from from Gabriela. The two dogs. Yeah, I think that you know, yes, two dogs that he that she has. Okay. And what happened in pandemia? I had uh, one a dog that mm -hmm. this dog um eh, I don't know in front of my in my house I the other people I don't know the with the for it neck the for in the dog. Mm -hmm. Como lo a mi a la puerta de mi casa because uh -huh. the people uh, know they that abandon my, him yes my they family mm -hmm. uh, help more the animals cats and dogs and and i don't know my my house is like a refugio oh really you have a okay you have a lot of rescued rescued animals yes and later, uh, um, as to ubicate the, the, the dogs or the animals in the other place after the recuperation of the, the dogs or cats or something dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a that is um a, a really a really nice um what a really nice gesture 
for you and your family to do, but I guess it's kind of a stressful as well, right? This is because you don't like to see the animals suffering, you know, so you have to take care of them, right? Yes, so, the first month is difficult because your medicine mm -hmm. and uh, take care exactly. and the, the modes of for the different animals like the animals angry or I don't know trauma. Yes, <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I admire, I admire that on people. So, because I, I, I don't think I could do it. But if you, if you do it, good for you. I admire that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we're coming back to the main room. I'm just going to check one more group that I haven't visited and probably in two minutes, okay? Or one or two minutes. So I'll see you there. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Teacher. Hello, how are Hello. you? Hello. Uh, teacher, uh, what happened with the mistake in the uh, sections, section one and one dot five in the in in another section with the um Google form? Uh, I'm 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 not sure if I understood correctly. Are you talking about the exercises in the platform? I have a mistake in the section uh in the task uh one dot five. Aha, in the platform. Uh, yeah. Ah yes. And number five. Many distributors would uh, a lower price. Ah, yes, yes. Well, you know, I reported that to to my coordinator, but I, I I don't I think she hasn't she hasn't corrected it yet. I'm going to remind her tomorrow, tomorrow in the morning. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, so she can she can fix it because I cannot fix it. Um only she can fix it. So I'm going oh. to remind her again mm -hmm, tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you were able to practice your experience. I mean, like talking about your experiences as a customer and as an owner. And uh, just right now. Mm, no, I mean, like, uh, have you have you shared your experiences? Yeah. yeah okay. 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 Well, we're going back to the main room. Uh, so I'm going to ask you to share some things there. Okay, so I'll see you there. Okay. Okay, everyone, I hope you had a good chance to practice your speaking uh, related to, well, the, the experiences as a customer and also as a, as a business owner for those who have a business, right? Um, okay, well, 
First, we're going to start checking uh, the answers to the exercise. I, I checked with some of you, but we still have some to check. So let me see here. Okay, number one, why, why is cinnamon soda not so popular? Okay, let me see. Lady, what do you have for number one? Why? But it, mm -hmm. but it's on um uh brand. Can you repeat, please? Sorry, I couldn't hear the first part. Because it's a uh, unknown brand. Ah, okay. It is an unknown brand. Very good. No brand. Mm -hmm. A synonym for unknown is not familiar not familiar okay so just in case uh, that word is mm, it gives you um some problems you can say because it is not familiar it is not a it's a this brand is not familiar to the customers okay very good now let's see question two what is an important step to consider when launching a new product Mr. Israel, can you please share the answer? Uh, well, the question is, what is an important step to consider when launching a new product? Mm -hmm. We were discussing with Gilberto that first, if you are going to launch a new product, you have to know where this product goes. Uh -huh. I mean, we are talking about you have to know your client or your or your or the prospect of your client that you want for your product, and mm -hmm. that is the reason why it's important when launching a new product. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good it's a, it's the it's a good step to consider every time you launch a product to the market. Okay, so let's say research the market, right? know your audience, know your, as you said, the prospect of your possible clients. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Uh, now we can add in this part, in this question, we can add the, the brand awareness, right? Like how you're going to make, I mean, besides getting to know your customers, like your target market, also uh, to consider the strategy of making them know your brand, right? Like uh, this brand awareness element that we're talking about, right? Promote brand awareness. We can add that. Okay, number two, sorry, three. Um, let's see. Mm -mm. Okay, Rodrigo. What is your answer for number three? Hello, hello. Uh, my answer for number three, uh... Well, I think Luca told to Celia mm -hmm. the import uh, the importance to uh, make a uh, brand awareness because uh, these people didn't create the uh, awareness of the of the uh, cinnamon soda, mm -hmm. and that's why it, uh, the this soda mm -hmm. doesn't have the uh, okay. I can't say. The rich. <laughs> the rich mm -hmm. to, to many people. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they need to work on that, right? Make mm -hmm. make their brand be known. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Well, uh, so this was the first part of our task. The second part was about discussing your own experiences related to brand awareness either as a customer or a, a business owner, okay? 
Um, so in this part, I would like I would like you to volunteer for sharing your experience. You already shared it with your classmate in the breakout room. Now, would you like to share it with your the whole class? Okay. So let's see. Please raise your hand if you want to share your your own experience in terms of brand awareness. Not too many, please. <laughs> okay, no one is volunteering, so I'm going to volunteer you. <laughs> let me see, let me see. Okay, Mauricio, you're the lucky one. <laughs> okay, teacher, excellent. Uh -huh. What is your experience? Okay, my experience about the brand awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, in my case, in our company, we have to make a, a how can I say, make a a campaign in the mm -hmm. social media mm -hmm. for, for, for the people to know about our products. Okay. Uh, we were talking about with our client, with our classmate mm -hmm. uh, uh, about uh, about in our in our company we import, uh, for example, uh, tiles from China. Mm hmm. Um, <clears throat> this is a product that the people he, he have to know when it's uh, uh, in a construction, yes. for example, mm -hmm. when you are uh, uh, constructing your 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 house. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a product that you need uh, for your 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 your, your tiles. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the that's the the way that we uh, we present to the people the the product. Okay, so you import these products from China, and then you have do you have a um a way to promote your services or your products in social media? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. In okay. that way, we 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 make a promotion uh, from the different uh, tiles, mm -hmm. different brands. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. And do you have a team that is in charge of, in charge of community manager? Like we were talking about, people who are specifically in charge of managing the pages. Yes, we have a person in the company that mm -hmm. is uh, working with the uh, social media, and okay. the, that person is the uh, is called a community man manager. Mm -hmm. uh, she she uh, she work in, in that case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, have you had any experience like something that something went wrong with the social media pages? I don't know. People who were complaining or the opposite, people who were too excited about a product and they did not get it, something like that? Yeah, we have all the comments about the products in the social media. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have to identify who people is interesting and mm -hmm. there are other people that they they write uh, but just uh, they no, they don't have any interest in, in in buy a product they only they only want to know the price and that's it <laughs> yeah they don't have nothing to do <laughs> I don't know if you have seen 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Mauricio, for Thank sharing. You. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> I this reminded me, I don't know if you have seen um in TikTok, if you have seen um a, a video related to this, like you know, it's so unpolite when you have a page and you post something and people are asking for the price, but they don't they don't say, for example, hello, good afternoon. Can I can I can you tell me what the price is? No, they they just say they just comment price, price, price. And so I was checking a video where they they said, okay, this is a representation of what people do in social media. Like they just, you know, like when you go to the store and you don't say good morning or anything, you just like uh say price. And then when people tell you the price, you just leave. You don't even say thank you. So this is this is um something that happens in, in social media a lot, right? Uh, and that's why I ask you to share these experiences because this is also part of like, okay, you are a business owner and you want to make your brand known or familiar to everybody, right? But also you have to deal with these behaviors, right? Like people who, as Mauricio was saying, people who only ask about the product, but they don't buy anything. Um, or in other cases, some people who are not so satisfied with the product and they make a, you know, a big fuss. Remember this expression, big fuss about the situation and sometimes they can uh, damage your reputation as well, the company reputation or your business reputation, your brand reputation, right? <laughs> okay, well, uh, this is a very, I mean, interesting topic to talk about. I know everybody has experiences, but because of time, uh, we are going to stay here. Uh, I know you already had the chance to share with your classmates. So right now, I'm just going to check attendance before we leave, okay? Let me see. Okay, Danny Anthony, Siguenza Ventura is here as a listener. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Ríos. Present teacher. José Andrés Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. Eh, José Israel Martínez Rodríguez. Israel, are you sleeping? <laughs> okay, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present Oops. It's amazing. Okay. Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why this is behaving, misbehaving. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. Okay. E, Maria Leticia Realigeño González. She's here as a listener. Mauricio de Jesus, Buruca Velasquez. Yes, yes teacher, present. Eh, Rebeca Maria Cardona, she's a listener. But I, oh, yeah, she's here. Eh, Roberto Carlos, Camens Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Okay, let's see. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga is a listener today. Sonia. So, Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez, sorry. Present teacher. <laughs> okay. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadilla. Present teacher. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for participating today. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night, bro. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Good night.